slack off a bit. That's better. Come on. Put your hand there. Can't find another foot. Keep her coming. Hold it. Take her away. Is this one okay, Chief? Kowalski, any metal or foreign objects in that one? Not a thing, Chief. It's clean. It's okay, sir. One, four, three, eight, seven, six, two is on the manifest check. Mr. Morton, would you, would you mind uh, telling me something? It's on your mind. Well, uh, since when has our submarine been turned into a, a cargo ship? I wouldn't know, Chief. I just follow orders, same as you. Chip, how long before we finish loading? It shouldn't be too long now, sir, Chief. Mm. Oh, uh, about 30 minutes, sir. Good, keep at it. Uh, how soon is Lee due back aboard? About 1,800 hours. All right, let me know as soon as he comes. Right. Admiral, may I? Yeah? May I ask you a question, sir? Oh, you meant about uh, all this cargo? Yeah, well, if, if it's top secret, sir. Uh... Oh, no, 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 it isn't. It's uh, these uh, wax statues. Sir? No. I don't blame you, Chief. We're taking them back as a favor to the State Department. Uh, supposedly, supposedly, they came from the lost continent of Atlantis. They're going to be used in the big exhibition in uh, Washington. Any more questions? Oh, uh, no, sir. No, sir. Sorry. I'll be in my uh, quarters in the evening. All right, sir. <sighs> Mr. Morton. Morton here. Is Lee back aboard yet? Negative, sir. Right. Loading operation completed? An hour ago. Great, your stowed is ordered. Oh, very well. Make all preparations to get underway. The moment Lee's back aboard. Aye, aye, sir. Statues. What a mess we'd be in if we had to use our missiles. Well, I guess they don't figure on having any trouble this trip. Well, I'll tell you something, Kowalski, and you can paste it in your hat. When you don't expect trouble, that's just when you get it. Sharky's law. You'll see. 
Hey. Hmm? What's the matter? Look at the crate. Empty. I thought you made an inspection of this place. I did. And reported to Mr. Morton that everything was ship shape. When I was here, it was. There wasn't anything like this. Then how did this crate get open? It just didn't open by itself. You got me. And what could have happened to the statue inside? The statue just doesn't get up and walk away. You don't think some of the guys would have taken it? You know, for a gag or something. You mean break into a cargo that we're shipping for the State Department? Are you kidding? All right, all right. And you tell me what happened. I don't know. But I'm sure gonna find out. Kowalski, come over here. Kowalski! That's a... that's a statue from Atlantis? I told you somebody was pulling a gag. Okay, let's get back in the crate. Oh, man, this thing's heavy. Yeah, it sure is. Close it up, the board's busted. Oh, forget it. Let's let's go. I gotta report this. but this is uh, very important. It, uh, it's about the, uh, those, uh, cargo of crates in the missile room. Uh, you know, the statues. And, uh, I... What's the matter with him? We've got to get underway. Isn't Crane back yet? Negative, sir. Uh, keep me posted. Aye, aye. What kind of a masquerade is this? Well, speak up, who are you? better myself. Over there. Yes, 
sit down. Good, good. Now, go to work. I'd know it at all. Anybody could have walked aboard. Now, what's the matter? Don't you hear me? Chip, what's happened to you? Chief! Chief! Can't any of you hear me? Let me see that chart. Who told you to plot this course? Mr. Morton, you're relieved of duty. Get to your quarters. You heard what I said. Get to your quarters. Welcome aboard, Captain Crane. I thought you'd never join us. such man aboard. Control room. 
This is the captain. Who gave the order to sail? Control room. Report at once. Make all preparations to dive. This is the captain. Belay that order. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> Captain Crane, can you hear me? Captain Crane, can you hear me? I hear you. Where are you? I'm in the control room. I would appreciate it if you would come down here and give yourself up. <sighs> what are you talking about? I'm in command of this ship. On the contrary, I am in full command. You are my prisoner. You are alone, Captain Crane. Still there, Captain? I'm here. Splendid. Then let's stop wasting any more of your time and mine. Come down here and give yourself up. <laughs> Captain, don't count on any help from your crew. I'm sure you've seen enough by now to know that they'll be of no further service to you. Attention all hands. This is the captain speaking. Someone is trying to take over our ship. And we're all in great danger. I don't know how many of you can hear me. Or how many of you are left. But we've got to work together. All of us. Now get your hands on whatever weapons you can find. And report to me in the missile room. I'm the devil. We're taking back our ship. Did you men hear my order to report to the missile room? On your feet. You hear me? Get up.
Chief. Are you all right now? I need your help. All right. Stay where you are. Don't move any closer. I'm warning you. I'll use this if I have to. Stay where you are. now, of course. Who are you? I was a circus clown. Until now. What are you trying to do? They say even the best plans contain a flaw which might sometimes prove fatal. Happily, this is an exception. True, because you were not on board when I first came. I neglected to provide for you. But now I am in a position to correct that little oversight. How did you get aboard? In, uh, in one of these statue crates? <laughs> there are no statues on board. I've taken them all from under the noses of the authorities. The cargo you so carefully stowed away on your ship was wax dummies. You're uh, talking in riddles. Now, just speak plainly. Say what you mean. By all means, Captain. I, like you, admire plain talk. It saves so much time. So, Captain, to be blunt, I propose to kill you. Now.
here somewhere now. Come out, show yourself. Captain, I'll make you a deal. You've been very clever to elude us this way, but you'll be the first to admit it can't go on much longer. The deal? Surrender yourself to me and I will give you your life. Be reasonable. I'm really trying to help you. There'll be no mercy for you now, none. The next time I set eyes on you, you are dead, Captain Crane. Dead. save you. I'm not like the others. The clown doesn't know it, but I'm myself. I may look different and sound different, but I can help you. How? They're trying to kill you. Don't you think I know that? Sooner or later, they'll get you. Unless I get them first. All right, what do you want? You'll never get them, sir. You can't do it. So what am I supposed to do? Surrender and let them kill me? Of course not. But you've got to get away. Get off this ship. How? With the whole crew after me? All of you trying to kill me? Not me, Skipper. I'm still your friend. I'm going to save your life. You are? There's a way off this ship. But you must act quickly. How? Oh. Go to the missile room. There's diving gear there. Go to the missile room. I've just been to the missile room. Go quickly. The missile room is empty now. It's your only hope. I'll take you there. Oh, Kowalski. After what I've just been through, I won't follow anybody anywhere. Suit yourself, Skipper. But believe me, you'd better get out of here. The missile room is your only hope.
Please. I, I was just looking for... Don't take another step. What, what is the matter with you? I'm warning you. Don't take another step. Uh, Lee, will you put the torch away, huh? Has everybody aboard this ship lost their minds? You seem to be yourself again. Well, of course I'm myself. Oh, that's better. <clears throat> if, you, if you knew what I've been going through, or do you? I suppose you tell me about it. Haven't you seen him? Who? A little man dressed as a clown. He's behind it all. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm wondering if I'm delirious or if this is all real. Uh, I know what you mean. I've been going through a nightmare of my own. Well, where have you been all this time? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's, it's all hazy. I, mean, I remember waking from a deep sleep. Oh, when? Well, just a few minutes ago in the missile room. First thing I remember was stabbing pains in my temples. And then there was a sensation of great heat. Heat? Yeah. Yeah, and then, then I was awake. First, first I thought I was in a coffin. And then I recognized the crate. Somebody had put me into one of those crates. Then you, you don't know anything about what's been going on in the ship? Nothing, nothing. Now, what is all this nonsense about a clown? It's not nonsense, Admiral. He's taken over the ship. He's turned the whole crew into, in, into wax dummies. Well, that, that's impossible. I know it's impossible, Admiral, but he's done it. And we're in great danger. Well, then we'll just have to regain control of our ship. I'll give you the facts. I will. Now, but first, how can we, uh, how can we raise the temperature of the ship? Well, how much and how fast? Well, as hard as we can get it and still live. It's got to be done now. The only way we can do that is to shoot a nuclear charge through the hull. But can we get to the reactor room? Yes, with this we can. All right, let's go. All right.
I'm sure it was his own invention. He was completely mad, wasn't he? Mad? <laughs> Certainly. But I believe he was an authentic genius. His plan, his plan must have been to capture the best minds in the world, singly or in groups, and uh, use them in some mad grab for power. Then why the sea view? Oh, that was the key to his plan. A ship in which he could wander around the world secretly, collecting the specimens. And the men? Us. Oh, guinea pigs, I'm afraid. Just, uh, just guinea pigs. <laughs> 